guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Usher and McCoy. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So how old are you really? Mm-hmm. Nah, not from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Claiming to be 17 fucking forever. What should be like in her like thirty? At least what? Twenty nine? She gotta be in her twenties or early thirty. Duh what? Okay, so alright. Yeah, so twenty five. Okay, that's not bad. You're still young, baby. I'm twenty nine. That young face. <laughs> yeah, that's a typical thing for all of us. Oh, you're mean. Oh my god.
definitely will cause trouble. You can't get arrested for that. But it's okay. Oh, damn, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, all up in that. <laughs> Right? I mean, she can join. Yeah, you're right. Because, like, mm, those three girls, because I wonder if they're in their 30s, that one other girl who I follow, I think she's in her 30s as well. So it's fine! Star Trio. <laughs> she gives me hella music -y vibes from Cinderella Girls because <laughs> we grew up the same age. Because <laughs> music is like, can I really be an idol at my age? <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Really? <laughs> Look at him. Duh. Yeah, so you know, everybody's like, damn. He is not fair game. We can't all try for him. He's got someone. We're screwed. Which is the smart thing to do. <laughs> also, shouldn't they be getting that YouTube plaque that, like, majority of us YouTubers always, like, scrounge to get? <laughs> And you remix them and make them brand new.
Well, it just takes time. It's too late. Mm -hmm. And of course, with that, she changed. Ain't that funny? Yeah, you have the same potential in line. Feeling about this? I mean, you just newly formed, right? What, Ruby? Yeah. 
have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I gotta say, a Ruby Hanukkah vibes. Straight Hanukkah vibes. Hanukkah and Chica and uh, What's Her Face from Love Live. That's it. <laughs> All the leaders except Kanan. Because <laughs> Kanan's completely different. <laughs> Kanan will be the one who'd be like, fuck no. Who's the leader? Oh. <laughs> In a way, yeah. They are the face, normally, of the group. Okay, ma'am, what about you? Okay. I agree. <laughs> that was cute. Yeah, it's got to either be Ruby or me. <laughs> Uh, these two, they try it. <laughs>
There's a song on there. They could just put the credits on here and just, you know, that'd be a... Honestly, and that makes the most sense for her to be because she has the most experience. I mean, you know, Ruby, baby, you have the least. Mem has the second amount and then kind of makes the most sense. But I mean, yes, I get it. She's very much hard on herself just as much as anybody else would be. She has those moments. And as you can see, even with episodes that are focused on her a lot, even in like the first couple of weeks, she has that self-battle that we all have within ourselves, which I'll, I'll say another thing. We overthink a lot. I think a lot of us as people, we really do overthink a lot. And so sometimes we have this constant moment where we're like, oh, I should do this or I should do that. Da, 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 da. And that's what she was really showing truly in this episode. Now, with her being the leader... It could be good for her, but at the same time, it also could be bad for her. Who really knows how that's going to go, especially with the fact is that they're going to be doing their first live. Like, that scares me because y'all just got into a group. You're all coming into your own thing and coming together as a group and learning each other's, you know, strength and weaknesses in this whole for episode as a nutshell. But, <laughs> like, me, I, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer, but, like, at the same time, I'm like, dude, this is a little too soon. Like, they, like Mem just got into the group in the beginning of this episode, and so we're just like, oh, okay. She's like, I got a connection, so we can play here. And they're like, oh, wait, hold on. And I'm just like, hold up. That, ain't that a little too soon? A little bit too soon. Like, can we start at, like, the little small gigs and then slowly but surely work our way up? I mean, like, okay, think about... Love Live, Idol Master, I can say Banzity, I can maybe say Bochi the Rock at the same time as well. Think about how when they started in little teeny tiny gigs, little concerts, and then they all worked their way up to being either, you know, the head honcho or the opening to the big head honcho. And then eventually, you know, by the end of their show, or like I can use what freaking... What well, Idol Master, you can do that, but I can also use a Katsu and maybe Pretty Pata and the there are several spinoffs and such and people like Katsu, where yes, they did open for someone else, like I said, but eventually by the time the show was done, whoever the quote unquote main character or characters were, they were the ones who were opening by the final act of their series, which is interesting. Now, the funny thing is that when I went to the theater and fell in love with someone, of course, gotta be a fucking actor. 
or just, you know, that small time actor eventually got big at the same time as I, once again, we gotta look at everybody who has been in like a lot of movies or maybe sometimes you also look at people who are not in like the news recently or in the last couple of months. My thing is like, especially if Aqua wants to do more of uh, me and my little like detective-ish, <laughs> you, you kinda wanna look maybe around a couple like at least a couple of years before I died and then anything so as after I died up until now and then do more connections from there yes him going to now a Connors theater where I also was as well that is going to give him a little more context on everything but at least somebody there still has to know who I fell in love with but at the same time Depending on how, like, it had it was years ago, of course. So whoever is the oldest person still working there, they're probably not going to really remember everything. So then that makes them go back, like, kind of all the way back to square one. But hopefully by next week, something good comes for Aqua, of course. I'm glad that, you know, the, pre um, the producer slash director for Love Now was able to give him a little more information. But now I'm like... We need to see things start adding up a little teeny tiny bit more. Maybe seeing Eyes and, you know, Aqua and Ruby's dad maybe next week. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I, I think if they really, truly wanted it to happen, it would be a great way to end the series for to season one, in my opinion, by episode 11. Because something kind of tells me. And they did it with Demon Slayer, so, because of course, you know, final episodes are usually like an hour or something long. Something kind of tells me that episode 11 will be about 11. Uh, 11. <laughs> episode 11 will be about an hour long as well. I, it wouldn't surprise me because the show is so popular and it would make the most sense for it to be an hour long, like, part one finale for, you know, the end of season one. But really, it's just up to them at the end of the freaking day so whatever they do is whatever they do but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Ocean of McCoy if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10 bye guys